gang welcome back to my channel so if you have just tuned in you may have missed this show that i've just done on my previous video which is the marlow so i'm at the green in bersco to look at the amazing red rose show homes but today we're looking at the ledsa and it's absolutely stunning so funny story well not funny story fun fact even this um, home is one of two that are only available to view in the uk so this one is in Bersco and the other one is in Cambridge. So how lucky are you guys getting a full show home tour in here today? It's absolutely gorgeous. You've got the double garage. You've got the amazing interface of the home, which I love, the big massive windows. I'm looking through the window, already seeing how incredible the design is. So let's go in and have a little look. Wow. Oh, stunning absolutely gorgeous you know what red row just never fails me you know on the interiors so if you are new here um i'm ellie i run this page for interiors and obviously i do 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 show home tours of red row homes but i also come from an interior standpoint because a lot of people watching these videos already have these gorgeous red row homes and want some interior style and advice which you know we can all need now and again um so yeah i'm obviously going to show you the whole show home but also talk about the interior aspects i've had a few comments about people saying like we've seen you've talked about the interior design if i'm being honest the interior design makes the space a home and honestly i think it's what is the selling point in any home that's why they always hire amazing interior designers to do these homes so yeah just wanted to mention that before we crack on so let's continue with the tour so we're back to the entrance of this living room which is to the right of this beautiful home i always say it time and time again but the ceiling height beautiful it makes you feel like you're in a proper home and not a shoebox similarly to other show home and you've got your amazing floor to ceiling curtains sorry because the sunlight's coming and you can't really see them but it makes the space look even bigger like if you've already got a red row home or even any home and you want to make your ceilings look taller just make sure that you actually pop your curtains to the very top and that will just expand the, extend the space for you a little tip i also love the way they always put a big massive vase in the window i feel like i'm going to steal that idea because i love it i also love this tub chair it is beautiful but what chair slash sofa i do really love is this corner one it is amazing this is a space where you could really bring all your guests in for a little movie night with your mates you know you've just moved in little party snug room movie night on a sunday imagine your christmas tree in the corner at christmas i can just envision myself in here and that's what you should do when you come to view a show home you should be able to picture yourself in this home another thing the interior designer always does in the red rose is the double coffee table i i'm just a sucker for this like i just love it i think it really does accentuate the space well that was a big word for me but i feel like it really adds that touch to it where you can mix your materials and never be afraid to do so like look at the way they match look at the way the poof matches the cushions and also the artwork like you're working with three mixed mediums honestly just a beautiful aspect to the design i just love this cozy nook as well with the side tables and the lamp i literally love everything about this i can't fault the design in any aspect whatsoever i love where all like the lighting's place the lighting placements are even as well just like the little tiny details like that in your home really make the difference like honestly it's gorgeous you could even pop the mirror on there to make you feel like the room's even bigger there is so many options i also love that console if i can find out where that's from i will let you know i also love that that's from h&m we'll link that i literally know where everything's from i'm basically a personal shopper in a red row i swear um i also love their fragrances now literal fact they purposely design the fragrances to make you feel at home the specific smells i'm not too sure i might do a video on this on tiktok um that like scientifically make you feel cozy and at home so you actually it like influences your brain something like that i'm going to do research on that because you know don't like hold me on that but yeah anyway in um, here as well we've got like your full-on system so we've got your wi-fi your bluetooth i think you can play your music through this but don't hold me to that you've got your system so that'll be your alarm oh my god there's a camera can i see myself hallway motion detected star no, actually, because I'll actually get the ick if I actually see myself. Is the cameras in here? Oh, my God. It's like Big Brother. I feel like I'm being watched. Then to the left of the door, we have this little cosy 
office space. Now, I actually like the way there's like a little window here. Do you know what I'd turn this into? Like, I know it's a lovely office, I'm not knocking it. I feel like I'd turn this into like my cosy room. Like a little couch on the back there, TV on the wall, like it styled nicely or even. Take that back, like I know I have my own like studio to like do interior videos from. But if you're like an influencer or a content creator, you could turn this into like your home in like studio, do you know what I mean? You've got an amazing light source from either end. And you could literally pop your camera there and film, do you know what I mean? I mean, thank me later if you're in this industry, do you know what I mean? So, this is an office, as I said before. And look at this built-in cabinet that they've done for the office space. It's stunning. I love all the details in here as well. I think you've got like loads of storage too. Love that. Um, and also, sorry, love this. Isn't that the coolest Connect 4 you've ever seen? Oh, I'm like reckoning. Okay, so you shouldn't flip that up when it's got actual Connect 4 pieces in. Note to self. But honestly, I'm sorry, that is the coolest design I've ever seen. I need to find that because I want that. That is a boss, like, that's just like, I feel like people always mess me, it sounds mad, where like, lads have just moved into their own home, even a retro home, and they don't know what to buy them. This is such a cool gift. That would be my recommendation. Oh, I love that wallpaper. Is that tech? <gasps> Textured wallpaper, it really does make the difference. It really does, but... You're not even going to be over this, you know. I'm not even speaking. No words are needed. No words. It's huge. Sorry, this would be the party home. It really would. I'm literally obsessed. Like, look how big the garden space is. So, the garden that we've seen before, sorry, the home, the Marlow, that will cut off there. And then you get all this space up to here. That is huge garden space. And I just love the way they've done them planters at the back as well. Gorgeous dining table. You would have a little outdoor barbecue there, a little outdoor pizza oven. Love to see it. And then where should we start? Because you've got your snug here. And then you've got your kitchen. Where should we start? I want to start in the snug. That's where I'm going to start. I just think I would never not be in here. This would be where like I would be at. Do you know what I mean? It's gorgeous. There's just so much light in this space. By the way, they're bifold doors, and I absolutely, I love bifold doors. I could talk about bifold doors all day long. I love, as well, this sofa, and they've also got the Crucial Trading rugs. I don't know what they've been made specifically for these homes. Crucial Trading, wow. That's, like, my dream rug. Like, when I get my own house, that's going to be my dream rug. Um, I also love this boucle poo, this gorgeous sideboard. Like, I'm being funny. You you know, and I know, the interiors and making you want to buy this. This is why I harp on about it, because all of these elements, the green sofa with the green bar stools against the green wall, like, would you have done a full kitchen in green? Probably not. Now you're thinking, do you know what, I'm going to redo the whole red row that I've got in green, because you've seen it here. I also love this light. They look like planets. The textures in that, can you see that? I hope you can through the camera obsessed sorry and then i love this little wall shelf as well do you know what i probably would have done like a double tiered wall shelf there um personally you know who am i to judge the interior so yeah i've just sat on that couch before and just wrecked it i'm doing by the way i'm doing tiktoks as well of these show home tours so if you're not already make sure you follow me on tiktok you won't regret it um love this as well you could actually do a floor stand and mirror because there's not an better than before a night out getting a picture in the mirror girls you know what i mean so i love that i also love these chairs this is gorgeous well so you've got actually an eight seated table here you could even fit fit something even bigger perfect if you're the hostess with the mostess at christmas and then you've got an island there with some bar stools like i'm sorry the finish on that table that marble table is beautiful look at this look at the legs oh my oh my goodness me no sorry i need that table I need that table. That is unreal. So, I feel like here, this is looking a bit bland. Do you know what I mean? I feel like a console to cover the radiator with maybe a big long mirror or some artwork. I feel like that needed a wow piece and that's that's not wowing me, dare I say. But, you know, that is just my idea. Like, everyone's different and I'm not knocking it, I just want to say. Um, here we have an island. Now, everyone's dream, let's be honest, is to have a kitchen island like this. A huge island where everyone comes around 
has a few wines on a Friday night, enjoys themselves, kicks back, and what better way to do it than in a red row home? Like red rows hit different. Love these button back bar stools and the leg colours beautiful as well. Just a little detail, so really love. You've also got charging port, which is ideal for the likes of me when I am working. I would literally work here all day. The dream for me is to have one of these at home, so that's my dream, don't know about yours. But even just stepping back, like I love it. If you've got a family, it's perfect. You know, you're cooking away. Oh my goodness. There is a drinks. Can I move in? Is anyone obsessed with this house or just me? I literally am literally picturing myself manifesting me standing here. Like I'm literally at the island and it's just so lovely. Like imagine cooking food here for all your guests, everyone having a laugh, the music's playing, Alexa's on. I love coming into Red Row Show Homes. It makes me feel at home. It makes me feel like I want to buy this home and I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it from the design, to the space it makes me so happy the smell everything red row just get it incredible and i love as well by the way the lights are the same as the ones that i've literally showed you in the snug the detail and then here um so actually next door there was not an espresso so they've actually had to glow up so i'm just gonna make a coffee here and then we'll commence actually so many people shout at me when they watch my videos and like, we can't see like the cabinet space and how much storage there is so for everybody who wants to know how many cupboards there are i'm going to show you but i'd also like to add you can design your red row kitchen however you want so by me showing you how much space there is is only showing you what you can do with the space not actually the cupboard layout because that is up to you and also i feel like a sink overlooking the garden is that just me or is that a must like i feel like if a sink's just literally facing a wall, it makes me sad. That's like a sad design element in my eyes. Here, I know first and foremost what this is going to be. It's literally a pantry and it's everyone's dream. It's everyone's dream. If you actually go to Neptune Home, um, they do the exact same one as this. And I know a lot of people who've owned Red Rose have took the Neptune inspired area for their own and they've done like spices and then they've done a tea station i am a girl who loves a cuppa like i love a cuppa i'll have a cuppa whenever it just makes all my problems go away this would for me be a pantry slash cuppa station and i'm here for it absolutely love it oh gosh and then underneath as well you've got some more storage oh is this oh uh, wow it's a duo drawer guys oh stunning absolutely stunning we love a duo drawer here we've got some cupboard space underneath your sink. I love the marble work top. <laughs> I just want to move in. So these are ooh, outdoor areas with convenient little touches. So it's just telling you all the things. Oh, you can get an electrical vehicle charger as well, guys. Remote control garage door. They do amazing add-ons, you know. Um, as I say, well, I said in the last show home, I'm going to leave all the details for the actual location oh this door doesn't open see guys you're getting me told off um oh, i love this style on as well i might have to take a picture of that i love i love a styled kitchen like there's nothing better um yeah as we we're saying before i will leave all like the measurements the link to the actual show home um i know for a fact that people actually travel to come and see the show home because as i say there's only two in the uk so whatever site you want to buy it on does not have to be the base go site you can just come and look at the actual show home instead of looking at it online um or looking at it through me you know virtual tour girly over here um there's more cutlery space and i love this i'm an induction hub girl I'm, i really am i don't do anything else other than an induction hub it is the future this is very technical and gorgeous. I love it. Also love the marble splash bar. And I actually love the mint green walls. Like, is it mint green or teal? I don't know. It's looking a bit of both. Um, who'd have thought it against this, like, grey cabinetry? I'd never thought that combo would work, but I'm obsessed. We've also got a gorgeous oven. I think we've got a fridge freezer here, which is a huge fridge freezer. They haven't got a plate warmer. I am going to judge... I mean, not that I've got a plate warmer, but I feel like that's a necessity, especially if you're buying a red road, you know what I mean? I will get a plate warmer. And then you've got the marble again, the same cabinetry as you've got in the kitchen. It's just very flush, very fluid. I love it. You've also got like a little bit here. Back door, 
Small storage, you could even pull that storage across, which I personally would do if I had my own laundry space. And then here is just a view from where you're doing your laundry. Um, do you know what I'd get as well? I'd get a little hole put in that ceiling for a laundry chute. Have you seen them on Pinterest? I feel like that's very American. So yeah, there's fellas actually doing the building work on them houses, literally building them. And I feel like they're watching me thinking, what's that girl doing? Because I've literally just done TikToks as well. And the light was good there, so I was standing there. But anyway, do you know what would be gorgeous there? Like, you know, at Christmas, have you seen in Home Sense them big deer heads with, like, candles coming out of them? Wow, I would literally place that here. Anyway, this is the downstairs. It's huge. And I love the fact that this backspace is open plan. I feel like this cupboard is going to be storage yes it is oh my god that's big and um, this could be like a coat cabinet you call it that a coat cabinet coat rat coat cloak room my god what's wrong with me today and then here we've got a downstairs toilet which is like super super spacious as well um and i love that half tile half paintwork as well that's a big big yes from me there's also storage in there if you need it and what have you got <gasps> standard by company noir they always have that it's my fave and now we are gonna go upstairs what does this sign say carpets socket switches down lights thermostat alarms sanitary wear love that that's a wet wet room stuff oh okay interesting we've also got i always feel like it's so because obviously the height of the ceiling in your in your downstairs i feel like the stairs are like missions up do you know what i mean because it's such a tall house um so we may as well actually do you know what? i'm just gonna show you the whole landing because it's huge look at this it is amazing so we may as well start at the top of the stairs which is this stunning like children inspired room it's so gorgeous i think this is the smallest of all the rooms so you could turn this into an office if downstairs was getting used for something else you are really spoiled with the space that you get in these homes i also love these books by the way for the kids like i would have loved those oh my god dear was that number? I think they're so good, like proper educational about people in the world. Like, I think they're amazing. I also love this little side table as well. Isn't that gorgeous? Under that one? Yeah, this room is fab. So depending on like you might have like grandchildren or whatever as well. Like it might not have to be your children to actually have this as an extra room. You could also have built-in wardrobes, but I do love this. This this is so cute. You could have it as a nursery. These lamps are gorgeous, by the way. They're from H&M. Um, I know I keep telling you where things are from, but there's nothing worse than when you actually spot things. That's from H&M as well. In a show home. And you're like, where do I get that from? So if there is anything, I'll try my best to find it. Or just message me on Instagram or whatever, and I'll try my best. So this is going to be the site where all these homes are going to be on. I think they said it's the third stage. So if anyone's been following me for like a good few years, they've actually built a full-on Red Row Park here already. Um... It was the other show homes that I went to. Do you remember them? Like, years ago. Um, I'll link the videos down below anyway. Honestly, they're all the same, like, home still. They're just different inspired, like, designs inside them. But this site is going to be amazing. I think it's till 2026. Um, they can buy them up till. And um, that's, that's when, like, everywhere's going to be completed, which is amazing. You don't realise how much work goes into, like, show homes, you know? And, like, new build sites from start to finish. It's amazing um i love this by the way i'd put a chair there like a little cozy chair or maybe like a console or something like i think that's that's such a big space um, and then behind us as well this gorgeous little mirror section we love a good mirror maybe like a tall sand and like william wood would be good but maybe for a night out girls we want to get a good pick so maybe a william wood top of the stairs here i love to design a retro home you know or like a show home in general like wow amazing and speaking of amazing, no words for this chandelier. That is stunning. I need to know where that is from. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I have no words for that. I also love the headboard at the back. I love a full wall headboard like that. It makes your bed look bigger. Like, that's probably a king, but it looks like a super, super, super king. Do you know what I mean? I love the way it as well. Leaves split it off with the different textures and materials against the side cabinet. I'm just laughing there, by the way, because I love these lamps. They're a classic habitat. I've got them in ours. 
um, on our console table. I just think they're so beautiful. They look designed. I love everything about them. Um, and then if we spin round here, we've got the floor to ceiling curtains. And then we've also got this gorgeous vanity space. That is the e Hulch, um stool. Molly May has them. However, I found a dupe in HomeSense and they're online on TK Maxx. So I will link them for you. If you don't get them, they're so cheap because they're like a couple of hundred pounds. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> just felt the material. You can see why. But still, you know, if you want a bargain, you've got more of their retro own smellies. If you're someone who would like you know, TV in the room. I don't have a TV in my room. I just hate it. I just can't stand the thought of it. So if you're someone who wants a TV and a large cabinet console, you could also shop that about. Chair in the corner. So many different things you could do. Then here we have the open plan walk in wardrobe, I call it. Like, it's an open plan space walking. Do you want know to be gorgeous to have mirrors? I'd have mirrors, you know. I think it'd make the space look so much bigger. Um, so yeah, I personally pick mirrors, and then through here you've got this. You've got this insane rain head shower. Um, it's all touch as well, radiator on the wall. Honestly, gorgeous. Love the big massive tiles as well. So you get like your toilet in here, obviously. Um, your sink, little mirror there as well as your bath. And remember, this is just an ensuite. Like, look at that view. Oh, I just love this, you know. This is my dream, like, to have this space. Like, every girl wants a wardrobe and to have it, like, actually in the space as well. I just love it. Maybe, like, a big mirror on there. I just love mirrors, you know. Maybe that's my thing right now. Um, And then this is the actual, like, family bathroom. Your boiler is in there. And then I was speaking about these mirrors in the last show home thing that I'd done. There is a touch button somewhere. But these mirrors are beautiful. They make you just look so much better. I don't know what it is about this. Honestly, I've had a bit of a glow. I wouldn't say glow up, but I've had some glow since these have come into the picture. Um, I want this in our house. I just think it changes everything. So I think this is going to have to be an investment. But if you had retro, please get these mirrors. The touch, you can turn them on and off. Gorgeous. But look like... At the background, the tiles are beautiful. I also love the smaller windows. I actually love lights in a bathroom, but I hate big massive windows in a bathroom. Don't know whether that makes any sense, but I know what I mean. You also got a bath and a shower. I mean, you got a bath and shower in the ensuite, but this is so much bigger. So I love a bath and a shower in separately in the same um, bathroom space. If that makes sense, because obviously, if it's smaller, you've got to have the bath and shower combo. Do you get what I mean? Um, but yeah, I love it. I also love this as well. Like, imagine the Instagram pictures that you could take styling your bathroom pieces in here. Honestly, I know it sounds very, um, what's the word? Vain. Does it sound vain? Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I love this cheeky mirror here. And that is the reflection into the gorgeous bedroom space. So I'm going to say this is the second biggest room. Um, oh, I didn't even say it is a four bedroom, but the bedrooms are spacious. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you're getting a five bed and you have to like compromise a bit of space. I'd rather have the four bedrooms where they're all big. Do you know what I mean? You've got fizz wardrobes here, which are gorgeous. The minute so it makes the room look better, more spacious. Love that light fixture as well. Everything about this room is gorgeous. You could even have a bigger bed, change things out. This is just inspiration, but you've also got an ensuite. I'd love an ensuite, you know, use like. This is an ensuite, it's like as big as my family bathroom. Like, that's how big it is. And then it's got your shower in it as well. Like, it's literally you roll out of bed into the shower. Is that not just everyone's dream? And this is just like such a huge space i love it i feel like i'd need more wardrobe space as a girl to be honest with you i feel like i'd have to like make that or maybe you could like bring it out put a door in and make it a walk-in wardrobe i mean do you know what i mean and then final bedroom is this one obviously you don't get an ensuite with this one there's only two with ensuites and two without but either way this is a really spacious room i think i'd actually love this as a bedroom i think i'd have to have a walk-in wardrobe there as well um but maybe you could have that as your walk-in wardrobe i don't know anyway it's a really nice space i love this cabinet again you could do mirror canvas tv 
wallpapers cute here you've got i reckon that's a queen bed i don't think it's quite a double it might be a double um and then i just love everything about this room it's just gorgeous and again you get like loads of light in these bedrooms like it's so spacious it's crazy i love it um yeah you just get so much light these are gorgeous you can't you can't say they're not like I've never felt as a red row, like everything about them. You've got your fire doors, you know, you can change aspects about them, carpet colour, you name it. This can be altered to fit your needs. And I think this is my favourite one I've ever, ever looked at. And that's a bold statement from me, but it really is. So yeah, that is the end of this Red Row Show Home tour. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you want any more information, I will leave it below for you. I've also done a lot of filament for TikTok and Instagram. So if you want more information, more video content, pictures, you name it, make sure to follow me over there. Um, I've done a lot of Red Row Homes so far. I've actually got full on playlist of all the red rows I've done so if you are thinking of buying one definitely watch all of them again I will leave that below and um, if there's any show home in the red row sites that I've never done please leave them in the comments below and I will get round to doing them I absolutely love red row I just think the houses are incredible I've always loved these houses just like the tall ceilings like this looks like such a spacious massive house which it is as you've seen and um, but yeah thank you so so much for watching if you want to see more show home homes show home homes if you want to see more show home tours do make sure you are subscribed and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will catch you on my next video